the block stood next to my tent. What the f Scared the out of me. The hairs on my arms are stood up. Right, there's no way, there's no way I'm staying here tonight. No way. I can't stay here. It's Midsummer's Eve, the year is 1735, and a local man spies what he believes to be a gigantic army marching across the ridge of a nearby hill. This procession goes on most of the night, and the following morning, he goes up to the hill and finds absolutely no trace of an army whatsoever. No footprints, no hoof prints. Two years later, on Midsummer's Eve, Several other people see exactly the same thing, a gigantic army marching across the ridge. They then proceed to tell other locals about what they saw that night, and nobody believes them. Fast forward 10 years to 1745, and 26 people witness an enormous army marching across the ridge of this same hill. And again, this went on all night, and the ranks were five men deep. And these 26 people that witnessed this army marching along the ridge of Sutafel were deemed sober and respected. Today is Midsummer's Eve, and this is Sutafel. It's also our room for the night. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our tent here, this is the southern end of Sutafel because this one gives us the fantastic view out towards Blencathra right there. So without further ado, let's get the tent up. Right, tent's all set up, and uh, if you've watched my other videos, the camping videos, you, you know what goes on inside. I just blow up my, my mat and put my sleeping bag out. That said, I haven't put my sleeping bag out yet because um, I don't actually want it to loft too much because I think it could be quite warm tonight. Somebody is very, very happy this evening. If you cast your mind back to that last camp I did up on, um, well, near Horsewater, the, the most haunted hill in England, or one of them, she just looked bored the whole time. Absolutely bored, stiff, fed up, hated it. So I thought, you know what? Let's just bring her favourite toy. She absolutely loves the ball. In fact, she found this one the other day on a walk. This is her little bit of treasure. Anyway, yeah, lovely. Look at it. Look at this place. I don't know the significance of this pile of stones, but it's very nice. A little bit ramshackled, but nice nonetheless. There's a bit of quartz there. Lovely. And that view. I mean, you've got Bannadale Crags right there, which has a real look of Sharp Edge. Sharp Edge is um, a ridge that comes down off the summit of Blencathra in the background. Difficult to see here, but this looks very much like it, very similar. Let's see if we can kick this. Oh. <laughs> She's a happy dog. Right, so now I'm set up. I think what I'll do is, first of all, get some of this stuff on because as we were walking up i was being eaten alive not by midges thankfully there's a little bit of a breeze and that's blowing the midges away but loads of horse flies i mean biting right through the t-shirt and all sorts it's horrendous so <laughs> i'm gonna apply this and then um well you know what's coming next I see you. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Go on, bring it here. Fetch it. Fetch it. Fetch it. Come on. To me. To me. To me here. Come on. Here. While she's faffing around with that, here's to a Steve Wallace Step 2. Cheers. I've already opened it. I couldn't wait. And that is magic. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. To me. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Catch it. 
It's just the simple things in life, isn't it, Finn? For you, it's your ball. And for me, it's this stuff. Maybe a little bit of beer. Go! Now, I have to confess that I am not a massive believer of ghosts. <laughs> um, I mean, part of me does believe in the supernatural to some extent, or certainly unexplained things that can happen. I've had a few weird things happen in my life that to this day I still can't explain. But ghosts, I don't know, I don't know. They certainly don't frighten me, that's for sure. The, the prospect of seeing ghosts certainly does not frighten me. What does frighten me are other people. Um, that really, really terrifies me, to be honest with you. Especially out in places like this, you know, where you're very vulnerable, <laughs> just in that. And this is something I never, ever do. I hate camping right by a path. So this is the main path coming into the south summit and then it goes off in that direction, but I just really fancied camping here. <laughs> Obviously, being somewhere close to where the, the ghosts are going to march, there could be human traffic here. That worries me way more than any kind of spectral army or anything like that. So it's 20 past seven. Uh, I've got a long time before sunset. Sunset's at 7 minutes to 10 tonight. I mean, it'll get a little bit darker um, here because obviously the sun's going to drop below um, Bannerdale Crags. But yeah, it's, it's just not going to get all that dark tonight, really. The sun will drop. It'll get properly dark for maybe an hour or two and then it'll start getting light again. The, the sun will start creeping back up. So I think what I'm going to do is just have a little bit of downtime, chill out with my dog, play with the ball, listen to these amazing skylarks and eat some butties and have another beer perhaps. Waiting for the spectral army to turn up and hopefully they're gonna be punctual. <laughs> that said, we've got all night. You having fun? Right then, young Finn, what we got for you? We've got some meat-like substance. Right, I'm gonna dump this on this little bit of rock here. Oh, that looks good. It does actually look pretty good. You made short work of that, didn't you? Somebody's very hungry, all that ball play. That's it. Beg? In fact, down, roll over. Roll over, good girl, ah, good dog, oh, yes, such a good girl. Right, Ooh. Butties. I'm trying to get these butties in before the sun goes. There's a whole load of high level cloud just moving in. So uh, it's going to get a bit chilly in a minute, I think. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Jeez, get off. All right, it's 8.30 and I thought I'd have a little wander along the hill ridge line. There's the tent there. I'll see a little cairn as well. So the sun, yeah, it's not far off the um, drop behind that hill now and it has dropped a little bit in temperature. This coat is a little bit over, overkill. <laughs> I definitely don't need this coat at the moment, but I do need the pockets because I've got all my paraphernalia in it. So, so yeah, I'm going to have a little wander along and see if we can see this flipping ghost army because, you know, I've come all this way. <laughs> I want to see some spectral action. Oh, you know, I didn't bring my camera. I didn't bring it because I thought, well, it's supposed to be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine tonight and tomorrow. 
total blue sky. I thought, oh, I just hate those kind of days for, for, for photographs, but that would be such a nice shot, wouldn't it? Really nice with this grass and the soft light on the Swaledale. Where's my dog? There she is. Isn't it lovely? It's cotton grass. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's crack a second one open. I've only got two. This is really beautiful, really beautiful. Look at this gorgeous soft light now. Why didn't I bring my camera? Honestly, shot potential everywhere. I dropped to that bit there and then I'm gonna stop because if I don't stop, I'll end up just going all the way down. Look at the light out towards Great Mel on the valley. Okay, I think that'll do it. Um, if I keep going down here, I'm just going to end up, like I said, back in the village. So let's head back up to the main ridge and see if we can see these flipping ghosts. So it's quite traditional for people to go up to places like Helvellyn on Midsummer's Eve and spend the night up there. Spend the whole day up there, actually. Spend all night. And no one ever comes here. Helvellyn, yeah, it's great. Third highest mountain in England hasn't got what this has got. It doesn't have a spectral army. This is where it's at. That said, this hasn't got a spectral army either because I don't believe in ghosts at all. Right. This here is the highest point of the fell. This is the summit. Not very exciting, is it? Look at it, it's just a flat bump. But it's nice, it's a nice hill up here. It really is a very, very nice hill. And despite its reputation, doesn't feel creepy at all. This does not feel scary, spooky, or anything in any shape, fashion, or form. So as you can see, the sun is just about to drop below that hill. Right, let's keep on going down the ridge. I'm going to head on down to the other end of the ridge now, so beyond where the tent is, right down to the southern end of Souterville. Okay, now I'm really fed up because the most amazing inversions are kicking off right over there. Great Gable, scaffold pike. If I had my normal camera with a long lens, that would have been a great shot, even at a great time lapse. Flipping heck. I came here for the ghosts, so I didn't bring any of that stuff. And now I don't want to see any ghosts and I didn't get any of these shots. Got it. Still flipping lovely though, isn't it? Loving these clouds. Almost like a lenticular cloud, that one there. It's trying. Hmm, give it a bit of time, actually. Some of these other ones might turn to lenticular clouds. In fact, that is a lenticular cloud there, look. Wonderful. What a beautiful evening. Oh, you're cheeky, aren't you? You're a cheeky little dog. You're the best little dog, though. <laughs> Why are you attacking me? You're supposed to be attacking a ghost army or something. Twenty past ten. Still no sign. There's nothing. <laughs> and it's getting quite dark now. Moon's up. But we can't see it. We can't even see me. The moon's up. Um, one of the planets is up. I don't know what that is. It might be Venus, perhaps. Yeah, sun's down. It's not going to be down for long. It's going to skirt along the north there and pop back up almost in the northeast. So, yeah. Where's this damn army? <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of joking about it now. But if I hear lots of feet marching and horses neighing and carriages rumbling, I'm going to absolutely brick it. Love it though. Love being out here. I love being out here by myself and uh, yeah, 
out in nature. Wonderful. <laughs> right, I've switched to night vision mode. <laughs> Got the infrared on and I probably look very, very strange, but I can't see anything now. It's, it's kind of weird looking probably in this. There's still quite a bit of light in the sky there, but in terms of on the ground, it's very dark. <laughs> you can see Finn though. Yeah, so I've not seen anything. I've not seen a single, not even a single soldier. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So that's okay. I think I'm going to head back to the tent now and settle down, get a little bit of kip, hopefully not get woken up in the night. I think it's going to be a, a very early start in the morning because it's going to get very light soon. Oh, not long at all. What the f Oh, what the hell? There's a block stood next to my tent. What the f That has absolutely scared the shit out of me. I'm not kidding you. Just walking down there. Coming back towards the tent, I was talking to you guys. I'm telling you right now, there was something, somebody stood right here. Oh, I'm not kidding you, my, the hairs on my arms are stood up. My skin is crawling. Right there. Oh, Finn, Finn's just oblivious to me. Right, there's no way, there's no way I'm staying here tonight. No way. I can't stay here. I'm gonna have to pack a tent up and go in the dark. I mean, I've kind of looked in this grass here to see if someone was pissing about, you know, like doing a prank or something. But there's no one in here, and they would, I would have heard them, would have heard them move off. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is, this is terrifying. I don't want to go near the tent. <laughs> it's just a little bit lighter over here for some reason. Um. Oh, what to do, what to do. I mean, it could just be some around here, you know, just winding me up, knowing that there's someone up here. Um, I mean, I did get spotted by several people coming up, so it could be someone trying to prank me, but I would have heard them, I would have heard them. I would have seen them move off and I would have heard them move off. Unless they're in the flipping tent. Unless actually I saw them in front of the tent and they've climbed in. I would, have, I would have heard the zip, I would have heard that go. So, sorry, my, my head's gone now. I don't know what to do, I don't have to ever think. Um, just looking around and stuff. <sighs> right. Let's get in the tent. I just want to make sure there's nobody in here. someone out here. I don't know why I'm using this. I can't see a damn thing. All right, Finn. Should we get inside? Come on, here you go. Okay, we're in the tent. Um, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know what the hell I saw then. I don't know whether I saw. Maybe it, it might have been my imagination now. I just, I honestly, I don't know. Flipping egg, that really spooked me. Really, really spooked me. We're just gonna um, try and get a bit of kip and see how we get on. Fins, fins down.
good morning. What an absolutely gloriously beautiful morning it is as well. Got young Finnmeister here playing with a ball <laughs> still. We've got some little swale dales down here. Some absolutely stunning cloud formations over on Clough, he Clough Head now. Just sweeping up the, um, the northern flank of the fell over towards Great Dodd. Really, really nice. Wish I had my camera. And then obviously this beautiful pastel sunrise. A little bit of macro cloud going on as well. Yeah, weird night, weird night. That little episode last night as I was approaching the tent completely freaked me out. <laughs> and I just lay there for, for quite a while. So I just listened to that. I'll talk about those in a minute. So yeah, I just laid there for a while, just, you know, thinking what would I do if someone was there and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, eventually did get off to, to sleep. Uh, the sleep didn't last long because around about 2.40, I heard one of these guys go, one of the Skylarks, up there somewhere. In fact, it was right above the tent, just one of them. And then about 20 seconds later, about 200 of them started up. <laughs> for the Skylark Dawn Chorus. What a, just a beautiful sound. And it's been going non-stop ever since. So, let's have a look. It is 4.39. It's an ungodly hour. But, you know, why would I want to miss this? This is definitely the best time of the day. So I think what I'm going to do now is get a brew on and uh, just sit over there for a bit. And play with my dog. made a bit of a boob. I've not brought a spoon, can you believe it? My spark broke and I don't have a new one. So we can improvise with the sheds. Here comes the sun. Ah, oh, it's lovely. And you can see it over on the hills there. Beautiful morning, I'm loving that. Little crown of cloud over on Clough Head. That's not easy to say. But what I'm not loving are these flipping midges. There's absolutely not a breath of wind this morning. So there's quite a lot of midges around. I'm gonna have to get the old jungle formula out. Yeah, another weirdness of last night, apart from the, the strange figure that I saw stood by the tent, it kept going really windy and then it would completely stop and then really windy again, and then completely stop. Very bizarre. But then it finally completely halted. And we're left with this really still, stunningly beautiful morning. Wow, I love that. This coffee's not bad either. This cafe is special. <laughs> Anything hot will do. Especially when you're out here in these, these kinds of places. Do you have a good night's sleep? Yeah, do you sleep all right? If you cast your mind back to that previous camp we did up by Hawes Water, sleeping with the ghosts, she did not sleep well at all. I mean, it was a bit cooler then as well. It was colder, um, but she just wouldn't relax. She just, just didn't enjoy it at all. So it's been a bit more relaxed this time. I think bringing the ball was a fantastic idea because it wore her out yesterday. She was absolutely exhausted by the time I went to bed and she was chilled out. She had a good time, she had a lot of fun. Didn't you, Finn? You have a lot of fun? I think she is the best dog in the world, bar none. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Right, I'm gonna perch on this little bit of rock here and enjoy the sunrise and enjoy my coffee. Okay, I was going to have some porridge, but unfortunately, because I don't have a spoon, I can't actually eat it. And there's no way I'm scooping it out with my fingers. And it's 20 to 6 in the morning. There's going to be absolutely no breakfast establishments open just yet. Probably open around about 9 o'clock. So I don't even think I'll get a cooked breakfast either. I'm gutted. Unless I walk really, really slowly, which I could do. <laughs> I might do, actually. But I think in the meantime, I'm going to strip the tent down. I was kind of waiting for it to 
dry off a little bit because there's quite a bit of condensation on it. Yeah, I mean, that was just an excuse to hang around here because it is absolutely stunning this morning. Let's get it stripped down and head off. This thing was crawling with earwigs. Ugh. Right, that's it, we're all done. Let's clip this on here somewhere. I'll do. Right, so a final check for pegs and rubbish. I always like to kind of brush the grass back up as well. I like the idea of literally leaving absolutely no trace whatsoever. You know, so when someone walks down here today, they'd never know a tent was here. So like lifting all the flat bits up. I mean, it'll all spring back up again anyway, by itself, but I like to kind of give it a little bit of a helping hand. And at the same time, I'm looking for pegs. There you go, nothing. No pegs, no rubbish, leave no trace. Happy days. Right, let's get the bag on and uh, let's leave this wonderful hill. Come on in. Say goodbye to the Swaleys. Right, goodbye campsite. That was a really good little spot actually there. Very nice indeed. Beautiful views, as you could see. Right, I've got to play this game all the way down now. <laughs> but it'll be fine. So yeah, it should take me about 20 minutes to get back down to the van. It took about 40 to get up. Maybe even closer to an hour, because it was quite hot. It'll be a rapid descent. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm both disappointed and ever so slightly relieved that there was no ghost army. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I would have reacted had I seen a spectral uh, army marching across the ridge. It would have been, I don't know. I mean, it would be great for video, obviously, but um, I would have scared the bejesus out of me. But that said, that thing, that what I saw last night, that person or... I don't know, figment of my imagination. I don't know what the hell it was, but it looked very real to me. That was absolutely terrifying. and kind of ruined the um, the rest of the night somewhat because ordinarily I'd you know, film a little bit in the tent. I just didn't want to do that. I didn't even want to put a light or anything. So it really freaked me out. In the cold light of day, it all seems a bit ridiculous. So thanks so much for watching and I shall see you on the next video.